friends welcome to my channel jm learning today we are going to learn on the topic distribution transform of construction myself mr jm patil electrical engineering department from kk polytechnic nasik now before we study the construction let us first know what is a distribution transformer a distribution transformer or a service transformer is a transformer that provides the final voltage transformation in the electrical power distribution system tapping down the voltage used in distribution lines to the voltage used by the consumers in india the voltage levels for primary distribution is 11 kv and for secondary distribution or lv distribution it is 414 volt so distribution transformer is going to step down the voltage to these two voltages in electrical power system now let us first see the basic construction of a transformer we'll first see the figure on the left side figure on left side shows that there is a laminated core the core is being laminated in order to reduce the eddy current loss now the core will be made from the material of silicon steel hrgo type now this core will house the windings on its two legs the winding will be called as lv and hv windings that is low voltage winding and high voltage winding now usual practice is to place the low voltage winding nearer to core thereby reducing the insulation cost required between the core and the lv winding the insulation thickness and thereby it cost will be decided by the voltage so this process is always adopted after lv winding there will be the insulation belonging to hv winding voltage level then the hv winding and again lv and this is repeated as per the requirements of number of turns decided in the design consideration now let us see the right side figure where you can observe two transformer one is the single phase core type transformer another is the three phase core type transformer both the transformers are mounted on a frame now the single phase core transformer you can observe here there are two constricting windings the winding are totally enclosed by the insulated paper the windings will have the layers as we earlier described lv hv type then their terminals will be brought at the top of the core on this side you can see that there are input terminals and on front side you can observe there are the output terminals the output terminal will be consisting of number of terminals here it is because as per requirement we can provide the tapping some secondary winding to get the different voltage output as compared to the input there is a single input but we can get the multi level output voltage possible now let us see the three phase core type transformer where for each of the phase that is r y and b we are having the three pairs of the windings of lv and hv the input winding when it is connected to supply system being called as primary windings will have the terminals here the secondary winding or terminal on the front side and again here you can observe that there are number of output terminals provided to get the different output voltage level as per our requirements now this is the basic construction of a transformer now let us see the all parts we may call as the external parts of a distribution transformer whatever part we earlier described will be contained in this box as shown here whole of this transformer will be mounted inside a tank the tank will be filled with the oil this yellow color represent the oil now this tank will be provided at top the bushings through the bushings we are connecting the primary and secondary winding depending upon voltage level the size and height of bushing will vary there will be a current transformer fitted nearer to the bushings which will take the care of measurement and protection to the transformer as a whole the current transformer will step down that current of primary or secondary windings to the voltage level accepted for measurement and protection now let us see 
on the right side of this figure at bottom you can see that there is a one outlet provided the outlet goes to a oil pump the oil pump will pours the oil which is coming out from bottom of tank and it passes is through a radiator a radiator is a device that will cool down this oil so as shown here there are number of lines you can observe this line represent the pipes or the ducts which carries the oil which is being heated and and passed through the oil pump the external cooling fans fitted on the radiator may be certain distance or directly on it will provide the flow of cool air on radiator and it spins and this pipes thereby the oil inside this radiator will be cooled down this cooler oil will be passed to the transformer tank we know that the oil here will have a two functions it will insulate the windings and as well as it will provide as a cooling media to the whole of transformer now this oil will be provided at top a pressure relief device in order to protect in the cave in the event of any severe fall inside the transformer tank now let us see the parts on the left side here now we can see here that the oil tank is connected to this ventilating pipe to a another tank here you can observe which is being called as conservator or external tank this conservator will have the oil inside it now why this conservator is provided you can observe here that the whole of transformer tank is filled with the oil when the transformer will operate at its rated loading conditions there will be losses inside the transformer as iron loss and copper loss these losses will produce the heat thereby it will raise the temperature of oil the oil will expand we must provide a provision to this expanded oil and it is provided in the conservator tank now this conservator tank when the oil is being expanded its level will increase we can easily observe the level of the oil by observing the oil gauge being fitted on conservator tank now when this oil is being heated and containing most of the conservator surface whatever the top will contain the air when the transformer operate at the no load or reduce loading condition then the heat will be less temperature will be less expansion will be reduced so the oil whatever in conservator tank will again go back to the main tank during this process there will be air being here present at top this air outlet is being connected to a pipe through a device being called as dehydrating breather when the oil contracts at no load or reduce voltage condition then the air outside will come into the conservator tank and directly come in contact with the oil present in the conservator during this process we know that the external air will contain the moisture within it the entry of moisture must be avoided when it goes inside the conservator and for that purpose we have to use the dehydrating breather this dehydrating breather will contain a silica gel here its color is also shown as a blue when the air passes through it during contraction of oil then its color will change to the pink thereby the moisture is absorbed here only and dry air will pass to the conservator thereby protecting the oil from entry of moisture and maintaining its dielectric strength and reducing the possibility of the dielectric failure of oil itself now when the oil passes from the main tank to conservator a bockel's relay is fixed here this bockel's relay will operate on a float and the mechanism of bockel's relay is such that whenever the oil expand and its flow and the gases develop it will detect its content thereby it will operate a mercury switch and a alarm will be given to the system so that some fault is being taking place inside the transformer as the expansion of oil is occurring at a faster rate now this whole of the oil we have to monitor its temperature so a dial thermometer is usually fitted here you can observe here now this 
transparent will be mounted on a base plates now this shows the cross sectional view of the distribution transformer most of the parts are shown here now let us see the physical view of a distribution transformer in this figure you can easily observe the physical view of transformer now let us see what are the parts provided at bottom you can observe that the transformer along with tanks must be provided on support and it is done by bi direction rollers the we have to fit the distribution transformer on a certain place depending upon our requirement and it has to be transported easily without any damage so these rollers are used now the transformer tank must be earth because it is being made from the iron itself and it may contain certain static charges the static charges must be passed to the earth so we require a ground connection terminal here as shown on the left side of this figure now let us consider the right side various parts shown here there will be a drain wall to take out the oil pump transformer during its repair and maintenance transformer tank will have a information sheet containing all detailing of the transformer including its rating and the various connections as per our requirement there will be under voltage control relay provided here you can observe then you can observe on the right side that there is a expansion tank being also called as a conservator tank the conservator tank will be fitted with a safety wall the safety wall will have two type type 1 will have the drain wall with the expansion ram and type 2 will have a over pressure wall for sealed models we do not have the expansion tank facility now oil level indicator as earlier i have explained you will give us the continuous level of the oil inside this conservator now over this you can observe the certain another parts which we earlier describes a breather will be there which is fitted with silica gel to avoid the entry of moisture in the conservator thereby tank for low voltage connection there will be a porcelain insulators then for high voltage connection there will be a bigger porcelain insulator which will have the multi disc connection you can observe here then a thermometer will be fitted to indicate the temperature of the tank the whole of the tank we may have to lift for its purpose of transportation and installation so lifting clamp will be fitted on either two side three or four side of the tank itself there will be a thermometer socket provided to indicate the temperature level of the transformer oil along with its tanks so these are the various parts that are being uh, provided on the distribution transformer with this i am sure that you got the basic idea about the construction of a distribution transformer a distribution transformer is a very important element or part in electrical power distribution so we must know its details with this i am sure that you got the basic understanding of the construction of distribution transformer thanks for watching this video do like and share it